Hello and welcome to this video, a guide to assist when applying for a resident permit, uploading evidence and common application errors. This video will guide you through the evidence process that is required when making permit applications and renewals. This is to prevent fraud and ensure applicants are protected within the resident parking zones and are eligible for parking. You can apply for a parking permit if you are a resident within one of Lambeth's controlled parking zones. To be a resident, you must spend a minimum of four nights a week at the property. You can apply for first-time permits and renewals online. Customer renewals can be done up to a month in advance of expiry date. If you park your vehicle on an estate, you will need to apply for an estate parking permit. Permits are only valid for the vehicle, estate and base specified on the e-permit. They will also specify the time period they are issued for. We try to minimise the amount of evidence and frequency of requests. When applying online for a parking permit, we will attempt to verify your details electronically. If successful, you would not need to supply any further evidence. Even if you have previously had a permit, you will periodically be asked to provide evidence as circumstances do change. This allows us to prevent fraudulent applications and ensure the parking is protected for residents eligible for a parking permit. On payment, your permit is live and you are covered to park in the resident zone. Even after paying for a permit, you may still need to provide evidence. If we do request further evidence to approve your application, you will have 30 days from the date of application to submit your evidence or your permit will be cancelled with no refund due. Proof of address must be in the applicant's name and must also state the applicant's Lambeth address as we need to verify the applicant is a Lambeth resident. We require two proofs of address. Please note that the person applying for the permit must be named on all documented evidence submitted for us to verify and approve your application. Vehicle evidence documents must link the vehicle to the property for which the permit has been requested. The vehicle evidence document must also show the applicant's name. New residents can apply and have full benefits to their permit once paid, providing evidence is submitted within 30 days of application. Please note that the person applying for the permit must be named on all documented evidence submitted for us to verify and approve your application. A full list of proof we accept can be found on our website. Foreign registered vehicles will only be issued with a permit for a maximum of six months. In exceptional circumstances, we may consider extending this but would require documented proof to show that the registered keeper does not usually reside in the UK and that the vehicle spends no more than six months in any 12 months outside the UK. Rejected applications and common errors. Please ensure all documents are in the applicant's name and list the Lambeth address to prove the applicant is a Lambeth resident. We verify applicants' details against the proof of address and vehicle documents provided. These documents must reflect the Lambeth address and show the vehicle is linked to this address. Applicants sometimes submit the insurance certificate instead of insurance schedules. Insurance certificates will not be accepted as they do not state the full Lambeth address. The insurance schedule must show your name, the vehicle registration number and must confirm the vehicle is ensured to be kept at the CPZ address. You will need to provide the insurance schedule naming yourself as the driver. This will need to be registered to the Lambeth address. If you drive a company car, we will need a signed letter from your company on letter headed paper confirming your employment and that you are the registered keeper and user of the vehicle at the property address in Lambeth. This must be dated within the last three months. The controlled hours for parking bays, such as resident parking bays, can be found on the signs within the bay. The first letter stands for the controlled zone and the second letter R stands for resident. For example, BR 
is Brixton resident. You must have an active e-permit for the zone you intend to park in. Check your e-permit code matches what is displayed on the time plate. We advise all permit holders to check their online account and familiarise themselves with their e-permit code. We are unable to accept new keeper details and would require the full vehicle registration documents. If you are unable to provide this, you can supply your full insurance schedule. If you find the page is not responding during the application, we recommend using Google Chrome as your internet browser. If you encounter any difficulty submitting evidence, you can complete an online web form located on the Contact Us section of the past.